This is Harper Therapy. My name is Elaine, and this is Shaman. Awesome. See, she did it yeah, this week. I did it. <laughs> anyway, about, we've been modeling. talking. <laughs> yeah, talk, see, talk about modeling. There you last go. Week. That's what we talked about last week. <laughs> so we've been talking about the summer mm -hmm. and and really like the whole family unit taking the summer off yeah. and getting some rest and, and recouping and getting ready for the next school year, right? Yes. And if you've got kids, <clears throat> elementary, middle school, high school, mm -hmm. um, you know it's tough. You're, 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 you want to keep up with the Joneses. You want right. to do all these great things with the kids. You want to uh, make the summer memorable all the time. And maybe the best thing is just chilling out and doing nothing. Mm -hmm. Right. And maybe fit a few small things in there and not try to make it like the best thing ever. Right. It doesn't have to be this <clears throat> epic summer. <laughs> right. And everybody comes out of it going, whoa, what just happened? Right. <laughs> the, the pressure's so big on the parents. And if the pressure's, if you're feeling that pressure, mm -hmm. your kids are feeling that pressure, mm -hmm. and everybody's got anxiety over what should really be like a time to rest and reset for mm -hmm. the next school year. Yeah. But as the summer kind of winds down, then it's time to start dialing that in. We got to start getting ready right. for, so we've done the reset, right? Right. But now we need to start prepping ourselves and getting ourselves prepared for, as I said last week, like the sprint ahead. Right. Like we're going back into the school year and there are certain things that are needed to right. be successful um, schedule wise. Because yeah. if you allow some of that extra lackadaisical <laughs> kind of things, <clears throat> that can create its own stress like there right. does have to be a, a flow to the day right particularly as we're getting close to the school, school year, year starting mm -hmm. so what's your recommendation a couple weeks out my recommendation is usually about mid-july start mm -hmm. looking at the schedule that you're going to have you know what does that look like what are the things that we're going to what's important to our family right. and what does that schedule look like so we can accomplish those things right. is it getting you know your son to a game or dance practice or your daughter to cheer or tennis or whatever that might be like right. what does that look like for your family and start putting together that schedule you don't have to implement it yet just right. have a good idea <laughs> of what that should look like and then about two weeks before school starts or that schedule really needs to hit you want to start implementing it. Right. You want everybody practicing, like, what time do we wake up? Right. Getting that bedtime, like, moved back to a normal time. Maybe not 2 a.m. Right. or 11 p.m. <laughs> or, like, whatever that has become for your family. Right. You know, what does what is that? So everybody is prepped and ready to go. Because if you're deciding to do that the day of, it's not going to work. It's not going to work, right? <laughs> like, I, I remember a few times we had... Sometimes we were really good about, as parents... Um, working that in mm -hmm. you know Yolanda's a very regimented person so yeah. she likes her schedule and, relate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so so she was really good some years about like all right we're gonna be prepared this year mm -hmm. and then some years we grew a little more lax and you know the weekend before right you're like oh, oh no crap <laughs> you know like, right <laughs> what oh no <laughs> and then the, the school starts and none of the kids want to get up and, right because right. who wants to wake up at 6 a.m. when you're used to waking up at 10 absolutely absolutely so you got to kind of start dialing it back mm -hmm. in. And, and I hope, like from some of our previous recordings this month, like you, you got the idea that it is a, there's a permission slip to let things, yeah. like let the summer be the summer. Relax, right. rest, yep. do the things you need to do as a family. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Don't put the pressures on yourselves. Give yourself that permission slip to just, you know what? This is what our family's going to do. Yeah. And then... As we get close to the school year, okay, let's start to put some structure back, back into in. the day. Mm -hmm. Let's start to, I mean, it doesn't have to be all the things all at once, but no. maybe you start with getting up a little earlier or switching the clock to, you know, so it, it functions or, I don't know, whatever, yeah. making well, it to the right that's, things. That's the beauty of the two weeks because right. you get to test that out. Right. What's working? What's not? You know, I'm going to add in a few things here, right. then maybe start something out, you know, just slowly adding those things in so you can you find what's right for your family and how to make sure that everybody gets where they need to go right. at the right times. Right. And that, I mean, starting to get that back in place mm -hmm. adds a lot of the same pressures we were talking about yeah. looking at trying to create the perfect summer, right? Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. as you're, oh my gosh, I got all this anxiety because now everybody's got to get up right. at this time and do this thing and be here and mm -hmm. blah, 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 right? And someone's got to do the bus drop off and someone's got to do the carpool line and yep. you know all the things mm -hmm. and 
and, and I gotta talk to my boss about getting out of work a little early so I can pick the kids up and mm -hmm. you know be where I need to be. Now, all of a sudden, everything gets crazy and, and you start getting all that pressure and all that anxiety yeah. that can really kind of bog you down. It can. And that is certainly where we can help. Yes. Right? That's... We can definitely help in the area of, it's just so much anxiety, so much pressure. How do I navigate this? How do I kind of create it to a, a manageable thing? Mm -hmm. And if you can use some help with that, you can give us a call at 813-434-3639. I hope everybody's enjoyed this. This has been fun. Yeah, I've enjoyed so, it. It's, uh, I think it's cool for families to to just decompress. Yeah. And we don't do enough of that. We don't. We don't teach it. We don't preach it. We don't mm -hmm. model it. No. Nope. You know. Um, our, our culture doesn't doesn't value it <laughs> right and I think it's probably one of the most important things you can do for your family in the summer yeah so thanks I for agree. writing all these blogs it's been awesome of course thank yeah. you for the opportunity all right guys thank you so much bye bye